go. Oh my goodness. Hi guys. Good morning, everybody. Hello. I hope y'all are having a wonderful morning this morning. I'm here today with Miss Jenny. Jenny is a funny, of course. And today we are going to talk about all about our letters, our ABCs, of course. And so we are going to be talking today about some of our animals a is for animals it's also for Allie. that's my name and i love the letter a it is definitely my favorite letter pretty much because it starts with my name which is pretty silly what is your favorite letter if you're just joining us can you comment down below your name and your favorite letter if you have a favorite letter the a is my favorite letter because it's the first letter of my name my name is Allie, and it's the first letter of animals and animals are some of my favorite things so we are going to go through the first couple of letters of our alphabet today and talk about some of our letters because they are so much fun so first of course on our list we have a is for animals because we are going to be talking about some of our animal friends today but the a is not for a bunny right the bunny b b bunny starts with B, of course, and this is the letter B, the big yellow B. B is also one of my second favorite letters because it's the beginning of my last name, which is pretty funny. And B stands for bunny. Can you say b, b, bunny? Good job, guys. That is so awesome. Good morning, everybody. If you're just joining us, be sure to comment down below your name um, or the names of the kiddos that are joining us so we can say hello and good morning to everybody and tell me what is your favorite letter. My favorite letter is the letter A, of course. And I think Jenny here, the bunny, likes the letter B. So can you tell me what is your favorite letter? So we're going to be talking about some of our letters today and some of our animal friends because our animals start with A, which is so much fun. What do you think, Miss Jenny? She loves the letter B because she is a bunny, of course, and bunnies are super cute. We love our little bunny friends here at Tiny Hills. We have lots of them, which is pretty fun. This is one of my favorite bunnies, Miss Ginny, of course, and she is a Holland Lock bunny. Most of our bunnies are Holland Locks, which means they have these floppy, loppy ears, of course. Do you guys have floppy, loppy ears? Do you look? No, right? We don't have floppy ears. Our ears stand up a little bit. They're not floppy like a Holland Lop bunny. And bunnies have these big, ginormous ears. And they can hear really well with their ears. Can you make your ears really big with your hands? Can you make your ears really big? Can you hear a little bit better with big ears? Say a little bit, right? Saying bunnies can hear really well because they have such ginormous ears and they can move their ears around. So you're here stuck up straight. There we go. See, so she can move her ear all around. She can show put her ear all the way to the front, whoop, and all the way to the back. So she can hear on all sides of her head, which is pretty special. Can you move your ears around? No, our ears don't move. Oh, good morning, Journey and Dolores are joining us today. Good morning, Journey. Say, Miss Ginny says good morning to Miss Journey or Mr. Journey. Say, that is so much fun. Say, we are having lots of fun with our ears, right? They have big, floppy ears. And bunnies also have wiggly, wiggly noses. Can you wiggle your nose like a bunny? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Good job. Those are some awesome wiggly noses. So bunnies wiggle their nose, of course, when they're excited, like when they're excited to meet new friends like Journey and Dolores and all of our other friends that are joining us. If you're just joining us, comment down below your name and your favorite letter. We are talking about some of our favorite letters today. My favorite letter is the letter A because it stands for Allie, which is my name, and animals, which are some of my favorite things. And Jimmy's favorite letter is B, because B is the first letter in bunny, which she is. She is a bunny, of course. And so she has a wiggly nose. And bunnies wiggle their nose, of course, when they're excited, like when they're excited that Miss Ember has joined us. Good morning, Ember. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful morning. But they also wiggle their nose when they smell something delicious. Hmm. What do you think a bunny would like to eat for breakfast? Hmm. You think bunnies like granola bars? No, that's what I had for breakfast. What about hmm, eggs and bacon? Do you think bunnies like to eat eggs and bacon? No, bunnies like to eat 
carrots. Of course, bunnies love to eat carrots, which are pretty delicious, but carrots have a lot of sugary starch. So when a bunny eats a carrot, it's like us eating a candy bar. Do you guys like to eat candy bars? Yes, we love to eat candy, right? But we can't eat too much or it'll give us a tummy ache, right? So bunnies eat lots of other things too, like leafy greens and fruits and vegetables and salad. Do you guys like to eat your fruits and vegetables? Yes, we love to eat fruits and vegetables. Bunnies especially love to eat fruits and vegetables and they also love to wear silly hats. Oh my goodness, Jenny's so cute. Ooh, and Ember's favorite letter is E. That makes sense, Ember, since your name starts with E. So unfortunately, I don't think I have an E today. I didn't get quite that far with my letters, but E's are a pretty awesome letter too. Say, so my name ends in an E, so it's definitely one of my favorite letters too. Ooh, Marcy said that bunnies might like to eat carrot pancakes for breakfast. That is a really good guess, Marcy. The carrot pancakes are probably delicious. I've never had them. They sound amazing. Say, bunnies might like to eat carrot pancakes. That's pretty silly. Oh my goodness, little Miss Jenny here is absolutely amazing chomping on her little carrot this morning, but it looks like it's about time to meet our next animal. And our next animal also starts with the letter B like bunny, b -b bunny. I think we should meet next a bearded dragon lizard. What do you guys think? Yes, I think we should. But before we do, Miss Ember would like to see Jenny wear the crown, of course. Say Queen Jenny. I always say she is definitely the queen of, whoop, where did it go? She is the queen of all of our bunnies because she looks so regal with her little dewlap. That's all this extra skin under here. All lady bunnies have a little bit of a dewlap. Hers is just really big. And I think it makes her look like a special little queen, which she believes that she is. Oh my goodness, she's amazing. But it's time to meet our next animal. Whoop. There goes our crown. Our next animal, our next bee animal. So we talked about buh, buh, bunnies. Now we're going to talk about buh, buh, bearded dragon lizards. I love it. Okay, let's all say goodbye to Queen Jenny. Bye, Queen Jenny. Good job, guys. Whoop. Hey, where are you going? It's not open yet. Holy silly bunny. He's so excited to get back in. She didn't wait for me to open the door. Silly lady. Okay, let's see who we have in here. This, of course, is my friend Poncho. And Poncho is a b -b bearded dragon lizard, which starts with the letter B because she is a bearded dragon, which is super fun. And she, just like this letter, is kind of yellowish orange, huh? She's a very orange bearded dragon, which I think is super special. And what do you think, Ember? Do you think she's the queen of the bearded dragons? Let's see, what do you think? Whoop, let's see if we can get it to balance. There we go, she is the queen of the bearded dragon lizards. I know that Ember loves the crowns, of course. These guys are so cool. So this is a bearded dragon. Her name is Ponchos. My name is Allie. Um, if you are just joining us, comment down below your name and the names of the kiddos that are joining us. We would love to say hello and good morning to everybody. It looks like we did have a couple questions on Instagram that I just saw. Um, Murphy asked, why are their ears down? I'm assuming you were talking about the bunnies. Bunnies, That bunny's ears are down to make her look super cute. She is a Holland Lock rabbit, and that means that she has those floppy, loppy ears, of course. It's just her type of bunny. Just like some dogs have their ears up and some dogs have their ears down, some bunnies do too. Murphy also asked, can they eat rodents? Bunnies definitely don't eat rodents. And bearded dragon lizards, they don't eat rodents either. They uh, don't eat many animals, but they do eat lots of other things. What do you guys think bearded dragons like to eat? Say Murphy guessed rodents, say, but they don't really like to eat rodents. Does anyone else have a guess as to what Miss Poncho, the b -b bearded dragon, might like to eat? Hmm, that is a really great question, huh? In the meantime, we're going to talk about why she's called a b -b bearded dragon. It's because she has a beard, right? She has all of this extra skin underneath her chin. And whenever she gets scared or upset, she puffs up that skin with air. And all of these scales under here change color. They turn black to make her look like she's a big, scary, black beard like a pirate. 
Isn't that pretty silly? She's amazing. Oh, Tilly is joining us this morning. Good morning, Tilly. Tilly, can you tell me what is your favorite letter? Because we are talking about letters today. Say my favorite letter is the letter A for Allie. But I think that this bearded dragon's favorite letter is the letter B for bearded dragon, which is pretty fun. These guys are so cool. Ooh, and Ember guesses that they like to eat worms. You are right, Ember. They like to eat lots and lots of bugs, of course. So bum, bum, bum. we're going to get out our magic breakfast table this morning. Let's see if we can get Miss Poncho to sit up here. Miss Poncho loves herself and she can see herself in the cameras that are on. I have both Instagram open and Facebook open so she can see herself in the cameras. So sometimes she likes to go give herself kisses. Is that silly? Do you ever go give yourself kisses in the mirror? Say no, that would be silly. Oh my goodness. She is so much fun. And you are right, Ember. She likes to eat worms. Of course. Whoa, did you guys see that? See, bearded dragons love to eat all sorts of bugs and creepy crawly things like beetles and crickets and grasshoppers. But worms are definitely some of their favorite. What do you think? Oh my goodness. She loves to eat worms. Wait, do you guys like to eat worms? No, right? We don't like to eat worms. Worms are gross. What about gummy worms? Do you guys like to eat gummy worms? Yes, we like to eat gummy worms. Not real worms, though, right? Real worms are gross, of course. What do you think? Ooh, she loves real worms. Ooh. And uh, Ryder is joining us. Good morning, Ryder. I hope you are having a wonderful morning. Me, Miss Poncho, the wizard lizard are having a wonderful morning today because we are talking about our letters. Say be 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 bearded dragons like the letter B because B is a really fun letter. What do you think? She said, yeah. B is so cool. So bearded dragons are definitely one of my favorite animals. I have one that lives in my house, so I'm kind of biased. But they're also super cool because they come from the deserts of Australia, which is pretty fun. And they love to live in the deserts. They have a couple special adaptations to help them live in the desert. Adaptations are special things that you have to help you do your job and to help you live your life, which is pretty fun. So some adaptations that we have are our hands that we can grab things things with, or our feet and our long legs that we can run really far and really fast with. And bearded dragons have some pretty special adaptations too. One is their feet. They have these long toes on their feet. Do you have really long toes? They're not really. Our toes are pretty short, but they have these big, long nails and long toes to help them climb because bearded dragons love to hang out. Do you guys like to hang out? Bearded dragons especially love to hang out right here on your shoulder. Is that pretty silly? Say bearded dragons, if I would let her, she would hang out here basically all day long, which is pretty silly. Oh my goodness. But let's see if we can get her out and talk about another one of her adaptations to help her live in the desert. And one of her special adaptations is her eyes. She has really special eyes. Can you guys comment down below how many eyes? Do you think a bearded dragon lizard has? Hmm, that is a really good guess. Comment down below. We'll kind of give her a turn so you can see all of her sides. How many eyes do you think she has? Meantime, we'll talk about her spikes. <gasps> she looks really scary like a dragon with these big, long spikes on her side, and on the sides of her face. And those look really scary, don't they? They're not scary at all. You can touch them. They're not pokey. They're not spiky. They just look really scary to make her look scary so predators run away. But really, she's a puppy dog. She's very, very sweet. Ooh, let's see. Ember guesses that they have two eyes. That's a good guess, Ember. Uh, Kelly and Tilly guess that she has three eyes. That's a really good guess, too. And let's see. Ember said two. And that's how many you would think, right? Most things have two eyes. I, one, two have two eyes. You, one, two, have two eyes. This bearded dragon, Tilly was right, has three eyes. <gasps> do you have three eyes? No, right? What about parents and teachers out there? Do you, any of you guys have a third eye on the back of your head? Keep an eye out on those kiddos. 
say maybe, maybe, say yes, right? These guys do have three eyes, which is crazy, right? Let's see if we can find all of her eyeballs. So we have one eye, if I can do it, there we go, right there, Oop, gonna close it. We have two eyes, Oop, right there. And those eyes see pictures and images, just like your eyes and my eyes. They work the same way, but she has a secret third eye on the back of her head, is that pretty crazy? She's trying to show it to you. She's trying to climb down. Like I said earlier, she loves her picture in the mirror. So let's see if we can find that third eye. It's really small. See if she'll stop wiggling for half a second. What do you think? Whoop. Can you see the worms? She can see the worms down there. She's going for them. Let's see if we can find it. It's really small. It's right there on the tippy top of her head. They try to get on both cameras. It's that little tiny kind of darker spot. It's a little Darker than the rest of them, right there in front of my fingernail. That's her third eye, or her parietal eye. And she uses that eye to see light and shadows. Kind of like if you had a curtain over a window and someone were to walk behind that curtain, you could see that somebody walked by, couldn't really tell who it was. That's how she sees out of that third eye on the top of her head. And she uses that eye to keep an eye out for predators, of course. So her main predator in the deserts of Australia is a hawk, a big bird. And so if a big bird were to swoop down like this and try to pick her up, she would see the shadow of the bird flying over. And then she could run away really, really fast. But the silliest thing is that she doesn't run on four legs like this. This is how she spends most of her time. But if she gets scared, she can pop up on two legs and run like this, do, 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 all through the desert. Is that super silly? Oh my goodness, she is amazing. We love our buff, buff bearded dragon friend. Where did our bee go? There it is, our buff, buff bearded dragon friends. But I think it's about time to meet our next animal. And we have talked about two animals that start with B, 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 but I think it is time to meet our C animals. Ooh, what do you guys think? So we have two animals that start with the letter C. So can you guys tell me, would you like to meet next a chicken or a chinchilla? Hmm, what do you guys think? We are moving on to our next letter, our letter C. Do you think we should meet next a chicken or a chinchilla? Comment down below which one you would like to meet next, and we will see that one next. What do you guys think? These guys are amazing. Bearded dragon lizards are definitely one of my favorite little creatures because they're so cool looking. Okay, she even has a little piece of skin right here that's about to come off pretty cool because bearded dragons are reptiles and she sheds her skin like a snake she's pretty silly but she doesn't shed it all in one piece like a snake usually does she sheds it in little patches just like that that's what that white spot on her chin is is a piece of skin that's gonna fall off probably today or tomorrow okay pretty soon let's see ember would like to meet the chinchilla next i love it okay well let's all say goodbye to our bearded dragon lizard friend Bye, Miss Poncho. Bye bye. Here she goes. Whoop. Right back in. Perfect. Watch it. Good job. And we will meet our chinchilla friend. Oh, goodness, so my chinchilla. Way over there. And I keep him in a cooler. That sounds weird. See, that's where we keep cold things. You guys live in a cooler? No, right? This chinchilla, he doesn't live in the cooler. He just hangs out in there while we're waiting for him. And this is my friend, Rue. And Rue is a chinchilla. And chinchilla starts with C. Ch -ch chinchilla starts with the letter C. C-H to be precise. And that's what makes the ch sound, which is pretty cool. And he is a chinchilla. And chinchillas come from the Andes Mountains, up high in the mountains, where it's really, really cold all of the time. It's very, very cold. C -c cold also starts with the letter C. Isn't that pretty silly? C can make lots of different sounds, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> These guys are fun. And so chinchillas come from the Andes Mountains, up high in the mountains where it's always cold. So that's why I keep him in a cooler while he's waiting for me to bring him out, because this room is like almost 80 degrees. It's really warm in here because we keep reptiles that live in here. And so I keep him in a cooler where he can stay nice and cold, which is pretty cool. 
And so chinchillas are amazing. They come from the Andes Mountains, and to keep them warm up high in the mountains, they have this really special fur all over their whole body, except their ears. Their ears don't have much fur on them. They have this really special fur that's amazingly soft. Their fur is so, so soft. Ember asks, does the chinchilla want to go on a choo-choo train? That is a great question, uh, Miss Ember. Say, I think yes. If this chinchilla had the option to go on a choo-choo train, choo-choo also starts with the letter C, I bet he would. And I bet you might have to use a choo-choo train to get into the mountains where these guys are from. Say, that is pretty fun. I wish I had a train. Say, that would be really cool. These guys are amazingly soft. They're so incredibly soft, softer than the softest, soft, fuzzy blanket, soft, soft animal that you have because their fur is amazingly special. They have very, very special fur. Can you guys, can you look at your arm? Look at your arm. That's some hair on your arm, right? Everybody does. If you look really closely, you can see that you usually have one, maybe two hairs that grow really, really close together out of the same hole. That hole is called a follicle. That's the hole that your hair grows out of. And us as people, we have one, two, maybe three hairs per follicle. Not very many, right? But chinchillas have a lot of hairs per follicle, up to a hundred hairs per follicle. So one hole that your hair grows out of, he has 100 hairs, which is crazy, right? That's a lot of hair. And so that's what makes his fur super, super soft is because it's really, really dense. There's a lot of it. And it's really, really fine. That's what makes it so soft. In fact, his fur is so dense that if he were to get wet, he wouldn't dry. He would stay wet for days and days and then that you get fur on. It's no fun. So he doesn't take a regular bath in soap and water like we do. He takes a bath in dirt. Dirt? What? Do you guys take a bath in dirt? No, we take a bath to get rid of dirt, right? Would you guys like to see him take a dirt bath today? <gasps> yes, I think we should. That is a great idea. Okay, we're gonna get dun, 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 our magic table back out. Let's see if he wants to hop in there. We will get out our little bath house. This, I have some preloaded with dust in here, some volcanic dust. Whoa, look at him go. And as he rolls around in that dust, it helps absorb extra oils and moisture and kind of acts like dry shampoo, which is definitely one of my favorite things. These guys are the original inventors of dry shampoo, which is pretty crazy. Oh my goodness, what do you think? So you're spilling some of your dust out. Can I have some? I want to show what it looks like. See so this is the dust. Can you see it in my fingers? It's this really fine glitter dust. It looks like glitter. It covers my hands, my table, my computer, everything in this shiny, shiny glitter dust. And it helps absorb extra oils and moisture from his fur. So it has this really shiny dust. It's just cool, super crazy. And these guys are amazing little guys. Are you done? He says, nope, he's gonna keep rolling around. Do you guys roll around in the bathtub like that? Do you just do little spins? No, you like get water everywhere, right? This guy definitely still gets dust everywhere when he rolls around. See, but that's okay. It's easy to clean up. He's so cool. These guys are amazing, but it looks like it might be about time to meet our next sea animal. So we talked about our ch ch chinchilla and how he likes the cold both of which start with the letter C, because the letter C is pretty cool, c -c cool. It makes lots of different sounds, which is pretty crazy. But pretty crazy, c -c crazy. They lots of things start with the letter C, including chicken. Would you guys like to see my chicken? Yes, I think we should. This is a definitely crazy chicken both of which start with the letter C. So let's see if we can get our little chinchilla out of here. What do you think? Ready to come out? Whoop, there we go. He's so cool. There we go. Let's all say goodbye to Mr. Roo. Bye, Roo. Good job, guys. Well, here we go. We're gonna move this out of the way and see if we can find our chicken friend while we're waiting. If you guys have any questions, you can always comment them down below. I love to answer your amazing questions. 
If you are just joining us, comment down below your name or the names of the kiddos that are joining us so we can say hello to everybody and good morning. Or comment your favorite letter. My favorite letter is the letter A for Allie. That's my name. It also stands for animals, right? Now, I love animals, but this one right here, she loves, wow, look at those wings. She loves the letter C because C, C starts with the letter chicken or the word chicken starts with the letter C, which is pretty cool. And we are talking about some of our ABCs today, some of our letters and how they correspond with our animal friends, which is so much fun. So this is my friend, Lady Cluck, of course, and she is a very special type of chicken called a silky chicken. She has very special silky soft feathers. Do her feathers look like normal feathers? No, right? They look really, really fluffy. Ooh, Tilly says, yay, chickens. The chickens are so cool, especially silky chickens, because they have these super special fluffy, fluffy feathers that don't look like normal feathers. They kind of look like the bunny's fur, but these are feathers. She's a bird. Birds have feathers, not fur. And her feathers are just really super, super special. Most feathers have barbs on them that act like zippers. They keep the feathers together and smooth. This little lady doesn't have those barbs. So her feathers are all willy nilly and they kind of look like fluffy, fluffy fur, which is super crazy. And you know what? She's looking around. I bet that this chicken might be hungry today. Do you guys think she might be hungry for some breakfast? Can you comment down below, what do you think chickens like to eat for breakfast? Hmm, do you think they like to eat pancakes? No. What about waffles? No, chickens don't eat waffles. Comment down below what you think chickens like to eat. In the meantime, we are going to attempt to put a silly hat on our chicken. Where did it go? So this, of course, is our cowboy hat. Whoop! And it does not want to stay on her fluffy, fluffy head today. I think it's because she's looking down. Whoop! There it goes. Oh my goodness, she is crazy. There we go. Cowboy chicken, both of which start with the letter C. Cowboy also starts with the letter C. Is that pretty crazy? Cowboy chicken. Ah, she's amazing. Let's see. Ooh, Tilly guesses that they like to eat berries. That's a really good guess. Ember guesses that they like to eat worm pancakes. That's pretty silly. Say, Ember, are you hungry for some pancakes this morning? I think you are. Because you've been talking all about pancakes today. You guys are so much fun. So let's see. Tilly guesses berries. Ember's guesses worms or worm pancakes. And y'all are both correct. So bunny or chickens really like to eat grains like corn and and uh, oats and things like that. They also like to eat leafy greens, like some leafy greens. I have some, uh, these are dandelion greens. And they like to eat fruits and vegetables like berries uh, and bananas and lots of other things too. They love to eat their fruits and vegetables. But a lot of people think that these guys, that chickens are vegetarians, that they only eat fruits and vegetables and oats and corn. But Amber's right. They really love to eat worms, of course. So these are some mealworms that she's attempting to get. So this chicken has such fluffy to see. So she takes her a second to grab her food. I think they're all gone. So she's keeping looking for more. She's so silly. Ooh, Amber did have some pancakes for brunch. That sounds delicious, Amber. What type of pancakes did you have? Did you have carrot pancakes or worm pancakes? <gasps> Did you have warm pancakes? I hope not. That would be silly. Oh my goodness. These chickens are amazing. And they like to eat worms and leafy greens and berries and fruits and vegetables for breakfast. But what do we like to eat for breakfast that comes from a chicken? Hmm. Do we like to eat pancakes? Yeah. But those don't come from chickens. Waffles? That doesn't come from chickens either. What about? Hmm. Eggs. Oh, yes, we do like to eat eggs, right? And eggs come from chickens. Chickens lay eggs, which is super cool. But if you look, this chicken is really, really small. She lays eggs just like a regular chicken, but she's really little. She only weighs one pound, which is 
about much smaller than a regular chicken. Most chickens weigh between five and 10 pounds. So she lays little teeny tiny. You are right, Amber. She lays eggs, of course. And this is an egg that one of our chickens laid this morning. I don't know if it was her. We have eight of them. Uh, but it's really, really small. You can see it is about a third the size of a regular egg you would buy at the store. But it looks and tastes just the same. It's just really small. It has a shell and a white and a yolk. And if I were to drop it right now, it'd make a really big mess. But we actually don't eat these eggs. You could. I have. They're absolutely delicious. But we actually hard boil them and we feed them to some of our other animals, like our tortoises and our hedgehogs, because they like to eat eggs too. Is that pretty silly? Ooh, Amber had just regular pancakes with syrup. That is pretty delicious, Amber. So you definitely had much better breakfast than I did. I love it. These guys are so, so cool. But it looks like it is about time to meet our next animal. So, so far we've talked about lots of animals. Animals start with the letter A. Let's do a recap. We talked about our bearded dragon and our bunny, both of which start with the letter B. -b, -b. And then we talked about our chinchilla and our ch chicken, our really cool chicken and our cold chinchilla, all of which start with the letter C. But it looks like it's about time to move on to our next letter. We have one letter left to talk about today, and it is the letter D, of course. So I want you guys to tell me, would you guys like to meet next a D D Dumbo rat? or a duck, duck, duck. What do you guys think? Should we meet next our duck or our Dumbo rat friend? Comment down below which one you would like to meet. Uh, whoever comments first, we are on Facebook and Instagram. So whoever comments first, which D animal we should meet next. Since we already talked about our C animals, our ch-ch-chicken and our ch-ch-chinchilla. It's hard to say, lots of ch-ch-ch. Like Ember said, the ch-ch-choo-choo train also starts with the letter C, which is so much fun. And I think my camera is backwards. So maybe see like this for Instagram. What do you think? <laughs> oh my goodness. These guys are so cool. So it looks like we had two votes for duck and one vote for Dumbo rat. So we will meet our duck friend first. And Raquel, don't worry. We will get to meet our Dumbo rats in just a minute. We will save them best for last. So let's all flap our wings and say goodbye to Lady Cluck. What do you think? Clap, 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 clap. Good job, guys. Oh, my goodness. She's so cool. Perfect. And let's see if we can find our ducky friend. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Quack, quack, quack. Let's see if we can get her to balance. Oh, my goodness. This is my friend, Gibberish, the duck. The duck, duck, duck. Oh, can you balance on there? You got it. She's working on balancing. She's, she's learning. She's just a baby duck. Does she look like a baby duck? No, she's huge. But I don't know if you guys remember, a few weeks ago, we met two little teeny tiny baby ducks. They were like this thing. This is that same duck. Can you believe that? She's grown so big. She's huge. We love our little ducky friends, and they are giant. But they are duck, duck, ducks that start with the letter duck. D, of course, we have talked about lots of our friends today. And our ducks are just one of our D, D, D animals. What do you think? She is so cool. So ducks are definitely one of my favorite animals because they are really amazing. So I love this one. She's a khaki duck. That's just a special breed of duck. Just like you have different breeds of dogs and cats, you have different breeds of ducks too. And she is really fancy because she has this little white spot on her chest, which just makes me very happy. And she is amazing. So ducks, what do we know about ducks? They love to swim, right? Do you guys like to swim? Yes, we love to swim. Ducks especially love to swim. And what makes ducks such good swimmers? Hmm, is it their beaks? I think their fancy beaks make them good swimmers. No, what about their fluffy feathers? Do their fluffy feathers make them good swimmers? Kind of. They have really special feathers that overlap like the shingles on a roof. So they shed water really, really well. She keeps getting right in front of my face. She's so silly. And look how her head stays still. That's amazing. 
birds are so cool. And so she has these really special feathers that shed water. So she doesn't get wet when she's in the water. And she produces a very special waxy substance that she spreads all over her body that kind of like sunscreen that helps make her feathers waterproof. So they don't get wet when she gets in the water. Ooh, I have a couple of people, Ember and Amy, both say she has feet. Very special webbed feet. You guys are right. So I'm going to set her down for a second so we can pick her back up. And look at those toes. Look at her feet. Do they look like normal feet? Do they look like your feet? No, right? They have all this extra skin between her toes, which is pretty cool. She has all these extra skin between her toes, and that's called webbing. Just like if you were to go scuba diving or snorkeling, you would have flippers that you would wear on your feet. Ducks have natural flippers that they have on their feet to help make their feet really good at going through the water. Do you have webbing between your fingers? Can you look? They know we don't have webbing between our fingers, right? Or our toes, but ducks do to help them be really, really great swimmers. They have lots and lots of adaptations, like we talked about earlier, lots of traits that help make them really great swimmers, like their special feathers and their really special feet. They are super amazing and very good at balancing. What do you think? Hello, thank you for the process. So she also has a very special beak doesn't help her with swimming, but it helps her with eating. So her very special beak is called a bill. That is what this little special mouth is called. And it doesn't look like the chicken's beak, does it? No, it's very wide and flat and long. And she uses that to eat her food. Inside of her bill is lots and lots of teeth, little teeny tiny teeth. But she doesn't use her teeth like we do to chew her food. That's what we use our teeth for. She uses her teeth like a strainer. Oh, big ducky yawn. Are you tired this morning? She says yes. She uses those teeth like a strainer. Just like if you were to, shit, to strain your noodles when you were making spaghetti, she strains her food in her very special mouth because she needs water to help her eat, which is pretty cool. Ember says she has stinky feet. They may be. Ducks are pretty gross, and sometimes they do have stinky feet. Do you have stinky feet, Ember? They may be. She's so silly. They, these guys are so cool. And do they have feathers on their feet? Let's look at their feet again. Do they have feathers on their feet? Let's see. No, she doesn't have any feathers on her feet. She has feathers on her head and on her body and on her fluffy, fluffy tail. But on her feet, she doesn't have any feathers. In fact, she has scales on her feet, just like a reptile would. She has scales on her feet. Most birds have scales on their feet, which is so cool. These guys are amazing. Ooh, Ember says, yes, she has stinky feet too. Say stinky feet, that's so silly. Oh my goodness, these ducks are amazing. And I think before we leave and meet our very last animal, we should attempt to put a silly hat on our duck friend. What do you think? Boop. There we go. Oh my goodness, little gibberish in her little red hat. She is amazing. Look how cute she is. We love it. Okay, so this was our duck, 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 of course. But we have one more duck, duck, D animal, and it is our duck, duck, Dumbo rat. Are you guys ready to meet our Dumbo rat friend? Yes, I think we are. Okay, can we all quack one more time to say goodbye to, to Miss Gibberish? Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Good job, guys. There she goes. Right back in with her sister. She's so good. Okay, and let's see if we can find our Dumbo rat friend. So we're going to shake off our max. had some chinchilla dust on it. There we go. And let's see if we can find our Dumbo rat. Hello, good morning. Oh, she's sleepy today. So this is my friend, Queen Elsa. And Elsa is a D-D-Dumbo rat, of course. She is a Dumbo rat, which basically means she has these big floppy ears like Dumbo the elephant, which is pretty silly. What do you think? Do you like the letter D? Yeah, I think she does. Say D, I think, is Miss Elsa's favorite letter. What do you think? She says yes. She's so cool. So Dumbo rats are amazing. There are lots and lots of different rats out there. 
where are you going? So you're just going to go through the hole. That's pretty funny. C is one of my favorite types of rats, the Dumbo rat. But there are over 56 different species of rats out there, which is pretty amazing. And she is so cool. So she has this really long tail. Look how long that tail is. Why do you think she has such a long tail? What do you think she uses it for? Do you think she uses it like whip? No. Do you think she uses it to knit sweaters? No, she doesn't knit sweaters with her tail. Comment down below what you think she uses her long tail for. Because it has a pretty special purpose. Thank you for the kisses. She is sniffing around right now with her nose. I bet she's looking for some snacks. Mmm, I think that she might be hungry today. So rats are really special. They eat everything. Anything that you can eat, a rat can eat too, which is pretty special. And so right now I have some very special rat treats for her to eat. What do you think? Would you like to eat this? She says yes. Ooh, let's see. Uh, Ember says for touching around, for feeling things. That's a really good guess. Say so Ember guesses that she uses her tail for feeling things. That's a good guess. Say, so, but not really. I, she does, she can feel with her tail, but she can't uh, use it like we use our fingers to kind of feel our way through the dark or the way she uses her whiskers to feel her way through the dark. So she uses this tail for balance which is pretty cool. So watch, if I put her in my hand and then I kind of rock her side to side to put her off balance, she swings that tail around to help her regain her balance, just like a cat would if a cat were balancing on a fence. Or if you were to stick your arms way out here to kind of balance on one foot, they do that with their tail, which is so cool. Oh my goodness, she's climbing all around. Did you eat that whole treat already? She's a little piggy, I'm pretty sure. She is amazing. Dumbo rats are really, really special. But unfortunately, it looks like it's almost time for us to go. But I had lots and lots of fun today. I hope you guys had fun, maybe learned a little something, especially about our letters. So we talked about lots of letters today. So let's see if we can recap about our letters. So we talked about the letter A, of course. A is for Allie. A is for animals and we met lots of our animal friends today. And then we talked about the letter B, B, B and B stands for bunny or a bearded dragon lizard and we talked about a couple of our B animals. Then we talked about the letter C and C we talked about has lots of different sounds that the letter C can make. C can stand for c -c cool or ch -ch chicken or lots of fun things. And then we talked about, last but not least, our letter D, of course, our d -d Dumbo rat who is stuck in our letter B, which I think is pretty silly. What do you think? Oh my goodness, silly little lady has made herself a necklace. She's so silly. So we talked about all of our A, B, C, Ds today. We talked about lots of our fun little letters. And I have had lots of fun to eat with you today. I hope you guys had fun, maybe learned a little something. That's always the goal, right? If you guys want to keep having fun, you can always go to our website, tinytales2.com. We have lots of fun, free things that you can do there. Lots of activities, songs, videos, yoga videos, coloring pages, lots of fun things uh, that you can do. Or if you are enjoy hanging out with me, I would love to hang out with you guys some more you and your friends and family, you can always book one of our programs, of course. We have lots of different programs where you can meet lots of our animals, including our brand new holiday program, which is so much fun. We talk about lots of holiday traditions, your traditions, my traditions, traditions from around the world. Lots and lots of fun, holiday fun. Uh, so if you want to book one of those, you can always go to our website, of course, tinytailstudio.com. We have lots of fun things that you can do there. But it looks like it's about time for us to go. Unfortunately, it's time for me to go get all of these guys some breakfast or some brunch. It's time for me to go feed all of our crazy little animals. So it's time for us to go. So goodbye, everybody. Thank you so much for having us out today and joining me this morning. And we will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. We'll say bye to Instagram. Bye, Instagram. Maybe. There we go. And goodbye to Facebook. Bye, guys. We will see you guys next week.